A little girl who overcame so many obstacles celebrates a milestone today. Jenna Hanchard is live from a very special celebration. Hi, Jenna. Hi, Naja. LP turns 11 years old today, and neighbors are celebrating her life with a birthday party. They've already started setting up. They've set up balloons. They've set up different signs. And this is really going to be a celebration for her. I mean, just in this building, she was locked away for months and for long periods of time, and she was even allowed to sit in her own feces. And now neighbors are celebrating the life that she has. She's in foster care. And we are now joined by one of the neighbors who is an organizer of the the event, Dorothy Burrell, but all the kids around here call her Miss Peaches, and you have organized this event. Why exactly did you want to organize this event for her? The reason why I organized is because I felt that she needed to know that she would have had love in this community, and that we wanted to show our support and let her know that if she was able to come out and play with the other kids, she would have enjoyed herself. Now, you guys didn't know her. She was locked away. You didn't even know that she was living in this apartment complex. What are you doing today to show her that you care and that you appreciate her. What kinds of things are you going to have today at the birthday party? Today we have face paint. We have a moonwalk. We've been getting lots of donations from Papa Lou's, 12th Street Heritage, my church, Community Praise Worship. And we just got a lot of activity going for. We're going to have a snow cone machine. We got the Kansas City Pythons. We got a live DJ. We got a special guest, which I can't announce yet. But other than that, we just want her to know that if she was able to come out and play, that she would have been treated as one of our own kids. And what we want to gain from this is a sense of of loyalty and and just a come together as one, you know, because she's a child of God, and just, just want to let her know that we love her, and we're here for her. Even after it's over, we're still going to be collecting gifts for her. Wonderful, and if people would like to do that, where can they go do that? They can do, it's online at the Link Organizations. I don't know the address for sure, but if you can go online and, and type in Link, and you'll find out where you can make donations. Wonderful, Dorothy. Thank you so much. And the birthday party is going to be going on here at the apartment complex at Watkins Court on 1324 Highland Avenue. And if you'd like to donate and provide gifts, there's gifts that have been coming in all over the country. We'll have that information available on our website. Reporting live in Kansas City, Jenna Hanchard, 41 Action News.